Hi, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining us today. Today, Paul Nazareth from Canada Helps will be presenting a crash course on securities donations. My name is Cindy Yunan, and I work on the charity engagement team at Canada Helps. Canada Helps is a charity helping charities. We've facilitated over $500 million in charitable donations since we were founded in 2000, and almost 16,000 charities have signed up with us for online fundraising. For donors, we like to say that we're a one-stop shop for giving, and for charities, we like to say that we're an online fundraising solution that is affordable, easy, and secure. We also provide charities with online training and educational resources they need to succeed, like the one we're doing today. All right, I know by now you're dying to get started, and I think we've given everyone enough time to log into our session. So with that, I'll pass it on to Paul. Just give me one second. Great, thanks so much, Cindy. Well, thank you everybody for joining us today to talk about uh, expanding your securities program, or if you don't have one already, launching a securities program using our services at Canada Helps. We're excited to be of help in this way. Uh, as Cindy has mentioned, we've been uh, around for now 15 years. Actually, very exciting. We're celebrating our 15th anniversary uh, very shortly, and the organization has grown in the ways that it helps charities and helps donors to give. One of those evolutions beyond just the typical online giving is indeed donations of securities. Donations of securities, uh, as you'll hear me say in the presentation, are truly right now the single largest tax smart opportunity for donors to give in the country. But more importantly, for charities, they represent an opportunity to help donors who are moving from the, the annual giving space into those leadership giving and major giving opportunities because it empowers them to give more. One of the barriers for a lot of charities to, to use these kind of programs is that you have to set up a relationship with a broker. You have to set up your policies and guidelines to facilitate the gift. You have to set up your policies and guidelines to receipt, to sell, and all of the different pieces happen at the busiest giving season of the year, between now and December 31st. So that's the program that Canada Helps offers you, is the ability to accept donations through us and have your donors make uh, donations of securities. We've advanced the program this year. As you can see, we've given you the ability to put a Donate Securities button on your website. So one of the things you'll find online from Canada Helps is an entire kind of step-by-step, -step, and our wonderful colleague Cindy has recorded uh, to help you to put the donation button on your website and how to talk to donors about securities is one of the things we'll discuss today. So for those in the organization who are also looking at how this program is run, it's important to know as well that we've grown this program so much, it's given us the ability to actually lower our rates on donations of securities. So now our donations will start at the cost of 3%, and depending on the size of the gift, will go down to the cost of 2%. And again, Canada Helps, we exist as a charity to offer these services and build this capacity for your donors. So if you're ever talking to donors or even advisors that you partner with, you can share with them the cost that it'll be to the donor in terms of the donation. And of course, when they make the gift, they'll get a receipt for the full amount. I'll talk a little bit more in a little, uh, soon about the actual structure of how the gift is made. It's important to know that all gifts, all charities in Canada can receive publicly traded securities and mutual funds, and that they have this benefit from the government to eliminate the capital gains tax. And we'll have an illustration shortly. But it's important to note that these specifically publicly listed securities are on the market, and mutual funds are included, and those units and shares are things that we can help accept, cash, donate, and receipt. Uh, people often ask us about overseas funds, etc. As long as the donor is donating this in Canada and getting a Canadian tax receipt, that's the system that we work in. As Canada Helps, we subscribe to the Canadian best practice in terms of receipting, that we receipt these securities on the closing price the day the stocks hit our account. So again, not necessarily the proceeds of sale, and this is important to know when we talk to donors. 
because uh, very often, and you know, if uh, Cindy had mentioned as well some of Canada Help's background, I've been a plan giving specialist for the past 15 years in a university, large group of churches. I've been with a financial institution working in planned and major giving, and so my background is this type of type of giving. And one of the challenges, and we'll talk about this next about speaking to donors, is that this program does have within it a natural tension and that the receipt value, again, the closing price on the day that we receive it, is often different than the sale value, the amount the charity gets. So explaining this to donors is something you want to be doing up front. And as Canada helps, when we send them the receipt and sometimes they call, we're also happy to explain that to them as well. But again, we subscribe to the Canadian best practice of receiving and as well selling them right away so that the sale price has a uh, little effect on that uh, little effect difference than the tax receipt, but they will always be two different numbers. It's important to know that up front. So as we think about how we talk to donors about this, and again, you've got resources from us. When you look online, you'll see resources of material that you can cut and paste to put in your newsletters and material to talk to donors. And it's really important to know what it's all about in terms of avoiding the capital gains tax. Now, this is something the donor does on their own taxes, but wonderfully enough, there's a real opportunity here. You know, when I explain it to people and donors and different charity colleagues, it's the difference between you buying stocks maybe 10 years ago at $10 and selling them today at $100. You have to pay the tax on the difference. That's the capital. But when you donate the, fund, the stocks in kind, you don't have to pay that tax. It's the capital gain is eliminated. So this is a major opportunity for donors. This is one of the examples we have on the screen here that you can cut and paste using newsletters, online, etc. around the button to help explain it. But you can see it certainly is a, a benefit to the donor on what they can give to the charity. Wonderfully enough, they can give more without actually having to change how much they intended to give they can take advantage of both the tax receipt and the capital gains. So there's a great advantage here to the donor and it gives them an opportunity to save tax and give you as a charity more. So as I mentioned, the most important thing as you talk to charities is using that language that it must be donated in kind and that they should not sell it before transferring it to your organization because if they sell it before, then the capital gains tax is triggered and the funds come off and you will not get the full benefit of this kind of donation. So one of the things that Canada Helps does that's very unique is when they click the button, then the process is started online. Most donations are using a, uh, a form that, that is faxed, the letter of direction, that is all information that we capture through our online donation process. So it's very important as you talk to donors and advisors that it must be transferred in kind and it should not be cashed before it is donated. Canada Helps, just so you know the process, and if you're ever speaking to donors or advisors and they ask, we receive the gift, we evaluate and receipt the gift to the donor electronically, and then we have a standing order to immediately sell the funds, and we take the funds and we deposit the cash in your account, just like any other Canada Helps donation. And then you have that in your accounting uh, reconcile, you'll see all the amounts as part of your download package. So just a quick illustration for us as we talk about this, and the uh, acronym in the top left, FMB, means fair market value. And that is what we talk about when we talk about the evaluation of the stocks on the closing price the day it comes into our account. Fair market value is a Canada Revenue Agency term to simply say the, the receipt must be calculated on whatever the closing price the day that it is transferred to the charity. So when you look at the two ways, donating the shares and selling the shares, just like the other illustration that we had, it's important to note that they look very much the same except for saving those capital gains taxes. Therefore, it allows the donor to donate the same amount, but they are saving on how much they give. They can give you more because they're eliminating the tax. So again, it's a wonderful way to help donors to move from that annual to leadership to major giving. And one of the things to know as well is that a lot of these programs on the public side, a lot of charities who have these programs externally, their brokers, uh, again, some of them do it pro bono, that often means that they don't have a priority to sell the shares and it takes a long time for the donor to complete the gift. Also, their minimums are often very high. 
So the Canada Helps minimum with a program like this is $500. That makes it accessible to your annual donors. This isn't about just $100,000 gifts, although wonderfully enough, we are doing a lot more of those now for charities, but it is accessible to donors at all levels. So we have a lot of advisors now who are recommending this to their clients as a way to give their annual gift. As you think about how to talk about this program, and we are, of course, neck deep right now in the, in the giving season. A lot of people are, have their year-end appeals going out. A lot of people as well in the world of, uh, of major and planned giving often have request information, giving a charity name in their will, but including I would like more information on donating securities on your direct mail as a checkbox so that you can send the donor the information of how to donate these securities. And it's very important because the most motivation of donors and professional advisors in the financial world is about getting this gift done before December 31st. So making sure it's included on appeals, talking to your major donors about it, just say, we have this ability to do this, getting the button up on the site is the important action that you want to do after this webinar. The other part, because very often people naturally think about big articles and illustrations in their publications, but it's really important actually to simply say, we do that. So many major donors today have been educated by large charities are being educated in the public space, even by their financial advisors, about the benefits of donating security. So they already know about it. And the most important thing they need to know is that you have the ability to do that. So if you get inclusions in your newsletters, in your magazines, in speeches from your leadership, in year-end giving publications, the most important thing is let people know that you can accept securities and get the links to your button in there so that it's simply another channel, another way for your donors to give, but for those major donors who are used to doing it everywhere else, it's critical and key to let them know you now offer that. Another reminder as well as we think about year-end giving, and many of you who participate in Canada Helps programs will know that we're the co-founder of Giving Tuesday in Canada, Canada's official day of giving tied to Black Friday, and Cyber Monday. We're in year three this year. It's very exciting. I just uh, got off uh, another call with our colleagues in the Canadian Association of Gift Planners about how the Association of Fundraising Professionals, local charity groups, are planning to take advantage of Giving Tuesday this year. December 1st, 2015, you are going to see national media, local media, the whole country. We, last year we had the Prime Minister, the Governor General, and mayors across this country involved talking about giving on this day. And in fact, one of the things that people think and one of the mistakes they made is to think too small, is to think just about annual donations, $20 donations. Well, if you have a planned giving advisory board, if you have a stockbroker, the organization knows, let your board know and your major donors know that on this day, if they're thinking about giving, you've got the ability to donate security. So if you are sending out 10 or 11 tweets that day or Facebook updates, one of the great ones is to have is this year our organization can accept donations of securities and have that link. It's really important to have the link again set up, everything ready to go. If we can help get you set up or testing anything, know that we're here to help. But truly, we've got a great resource kit online, a video of how to do it, resources how to share it, and the strategy of how to talk to donors about it. So make sure that you get it all set up. But on this day, December 1st, when the volume is raised across the country on philanthropy, that you're there and ready to take advantage. So we hope that the webinar has been of help, this uh, really quick crash course and making sure you get started. Remember again that they, it is that natural piece that the donors, if they don't understand, need to know how the receipt is calculated, that Canada Helps will help them do this, that they will get the receipt and that the funds will get to you, that we do all the work cashing them and getting them to your organization, that Canada Helps can help explain it if you need that help, but right away that you've got the support to get your button online, to talk about it in your organization, to market it to your donors, to explain it to the advisors who can help facilitate these donations, and to accept the gifts. So we hope that it's been of help. Thank you for joining us today. 
and we look forward to helping you accept these wonderful donations to com continue to carry on your important work in Canada's charitable sector. Thanks so much for that, Paul. Um, okay, so if anybody has any questions, please do enter them into the questions log, and, and Paul is here to answer all of your questions about securities. Um, and in addition, I've added a Word doc uh, to the handouts area in your GoToWebinar um, panel, and it has some sample messaging in it, um, benefits of securities and mutual funds that you can include in your donor communications. Um, and this uh, one piece is from our securities toolkit that we had included um, in the email that was sent to you um, to tell you about the webinar and um, the benefits of including securities in your ask. And if you do want the full toolkit, you can actually um, go online on our Charity Life blog. You can access that from CanadaHelps.org. And it's our second last post. Um, the securities toolkit is there for you. Um, OK, so let me just see if there are any questions coming in. Um, I've, got, I've got one here from Twitter. Sure, go for it, Paul. Great. Just uh, uh, one of our uh, charity colleagues asking about professional advisors, a term that I used about uh, working with local stockbrokers. Uh, so when I refer to the term professional advisors, what I mean is is uh, advisors in uh, estate planning, in stock, uh, who are stockbrokers, insurance professionals, and finance and banking professionals, any professional who facilitates a gift on behalf of a donor, and the donor is their client. So primarily, you want to make sure you reach out to uh, any advisors in your community, usually finance, banking, uh, who are stockbrokers, who can help with those donations in the community, to just send them a note if you have a relationship with them to let them know. Your organization does that. You can help them and their clients to, uh, to accept these gifts. If you're looking to how to plug into these networks across the country, uh, Canada Helps is very happy to partner with the Canadian Associations of Gift Planners, CAGP who is an organization of fundraisers and advisors in finance, law, and insurance, and accounting who often partners and can help you find these type of advisors in your community. And if you'd like to connect with your local CGP, feel free to contact us, and we can also facilitate that connection. But they're a great place to find who are the people, who are the advisors in your community who can help talk to their clients, often your donors, about how to make these gifts. Okay, perfect. Thanks so much, Paul. And I have another really great question from Lorraine. Um, she writes, sorry, let me just find that question again. Uh, so the donor initiates the securities donation themselves from our Canada Helps website. Do we need to do anything else after that to facilitate this process? Wonderful question. Thanks so much, Lorraine. And I've, this is my favorite answer in the world. No. You don't have to do anything. This is one of the uh, one of the great programs that we have that truly is end to end part of our website. So the donor initiates the process, puts all the information in. The donor gets the uh, the information they need to share with their advisor. Their advisor transfers the funds to Canada Helps. We receive them. We receipt them. We liquidate the funds. We put the cash in your account. So the donors got their receipt. The charities got the cash direct deposit. No work on your part. You can go back to year-end fundraising, which we know at this time is critical. So that's one of the biggest benefits about this program. It's fully contained. We do all the work, and we'll get that gift in before December 31st. Great. Thanks, Paul. Okay, I have a question from Rachel. Can you explain again the difference between the closing price on the day of receipt and the proceeds of, of the sale? A very important question when talking to your internal team, your donors, and any advisors who call. This is, again, as I mentioned, that natural kind of tension piece because every single securities donation will always have those two different pieces. So the closing price on the day that the securities are received will be the receipt value. And then we turn around and sell those stocks as soon as we can. That's our relationship with the broker that manages this. But no one can ever sell instantly. And so the sale price of the stocks or mutual funds will always be different than the receipt. And we explain to donors, again, that is Canadian best practice. Every charity has this particular issue. They will always be a little different. And again, we find donors often frustrated sometimes to say, oh, my receipt 
may be higher than the amount coming to my charity or lower, but that's because those two numbers are always different. That's Canadian best practice, they were approved by the Canada Revenue Agency and all of the professionals in the country, including the Gift Planning Association of Canada, and they could work with any charity across the country and find the same best practice. So it's important that we let them know this is the approved law and we do it that way, but it will be always different. Great. Thank you so much, Paul. Foon is asking, can you describe the process for donations of securities from the donor's perspective? Great, and that's you know very important because so many, so often you will be in touch with your donor as this process moves forward, and so the donor initiates the process through your button on Canada Helps. They input all of their information. They have a the all the information sent to their broker and our broker. They will get a copy of the letter of direction talking about the gift and all the particulars. So they have something they can hold on to to know that the process has started. If there's ever any frustration or timing with the donor, it's because sometimes donors have this expectation that because they give online, it's instant. Well, in this case, there is always a process to go through where the funds have to be transferred by their broker. So it's whenever their broker gets to it. It has to be received by Canada Health's broker, and then we have to turn around and sell it, which again, we do right away. But sometimes the timing in between when their broker does it, when we sell it, can take up to a few days. And so if they're ever frustrated in that, you can let them know again. This is the same way it would work with any sort of broker, any organization, uh, that it takes some time. And mutual funds usually take a little longer to close. So there's often a little bit of lag time in between when they start the process and when they get their receipt. They can always call Canada Helps for an update. You as the charity, if you know this process is initiated, can also call us for an update, but we are always helping to steward the donor through the process whenever we can, and they have some material they can hang on to to know it started, then they get their receipt from us, and their funds are transferred to you, the charity. Great, thank you. Um, and Lorraine has another great question. Does it still work if the donor has a self-directed account for their securities, so no broker? Wow, you're on fire, Lorraine. This is great. These are issues that we have addressed. Uh, again, I just recently came from a, a financial institution a year ago and saw that there is indeed a great rise in donors who are self-directed investors. So they don't tr they don't have a broker anymore. They're using the RBC Directs, the TD Waterhouses, the Scotia, the Direct programs. So we have instructions on the beginning process of the Canada Help Securities donation uh, process where they get all of the numbers and all of the material they need to plug it into their direct investing uh, structure so that they can initiate the gift on their side. Fantastic question. So many donors are self-directed, they get what they need from the Canada Pro Helps process to use those systems. Thank you, Paul. Um, Rosie says, thanks, Paul, very helpful. And um, John is asking, can we replay this session again? Um, yes, John, uh, we're recording the session right now, so it will be available um, probably in the next 24 hours or so, and you'll be able to watch it on demand. Um, okay, Paul, Foon has asked, what are the usual commercial rates? So that is one of the challenges across the country. It's interesting. So I am an instructor with the Canadian Association of Gift Planners, and I get to teach the gift planning course uh, fundamentals across Canada. Uh, I also teach with a postgraduate program, uh, an online course on plan giving. So I have access to charities right across the country to see what the costs are. There is no average cost. That is the challenge. It's one of our challenges that Canada Helps when we created the cost structure. You've got some charities who are getting pro bono work from advisor on their board. Very often we hear from the fundraisers the challenge with that is pro bono work is the cost of free. It's not always a priority to the advisor and it takes a long time to process those gifts in which time there are frustrated donors. You have some charities that have their own self-directed accounts to accept those gifts through the very cost-effective 
self-directed online programs, but again, that is, that, is, that is very low cost, but there's no service involved. So if you run into a problem with your donor's broker or the transaction, it's an online service. You're calling a 1-800 number to a, to a large financial institution. It's a very big challenge, especially for those financial officers, treasurers, people who are facilitating the gift on the charity side. And then quite a number of charities have great relationships with a, with, a, with a broker who they pay to facilitate these transactions. The cost factor anywhere between uh, some, uh, a fee per transaction. Quite a number of them have a percentage. But again, none of those uh, brokers are receiving the gift. Uh, again, they're just accepting and cashing and giving it to the charity. The, what we have added into the Canada Health System is not just the ability to receive and receipt uh, but we cash it and, and give the charity. So it's a bit more of a holistic service. There really isn't any uh, broker who's offering the ability to do all that because the receiving is the one thing they can't do. So there isn't necessarily an average across Canada. It's mostly what you can work out in your region or with an, an independent advisor. Thanks so much, Paul. Okay, and um, last but not least, I have a question from Tom here. Now, Paul, I'm not sure if you have this data right on hand with you to share, but I'll go ahead and ask a question anyways. How many charities are currently using Canada Help Securities? And how much donation value in percentage terms are security donations in relation to all online donations? So that's true. I certainly don't have that information at my fingertips. Um, you know, one of the reasons why we're growing this program is because securities donations with Canada Helps have significantly grown in the past two years. As more donors, advisors, and charities understand the value of this, uh, securities gifts in Canada are certainly increasing as a percentage of donations, but it is not a program that all donors or all charities are using. It's one of the reasons why Canada Helps you know, we're a charity, we're not a for-profit, and part of our charitable mandate is to advance philanthropy in Canada, both on the charity side and with donors. So part of our educational mandate is to, to encourage more charities to simply have these options, to encourage donors to, to think about them, and to try to advance. This is why we partner with groups like the Association of Fundraising Professionals, the Canadian Association of Gift Planners, to publicly and in a very big way talk about this kind of giving securities. We'll be doing more with bequests and different types of asset giving in Canada. Uh, so it's a significant part, but truly, very often it is within that kind of uh, high net worth donor, major donor, and we exist to level the playing field, make it accessible to donors of all ages and charities of all sizes too. Thank you, Paul. Um, well, that is all the questions we have for today. I do urge everyone to go online, get your toolkits, add the Donate Securities button to your website. If you can't find the toolkit online, please just shoot me an email at charitylife at canadahelps.org and I will email it to you. Uh, Paul, do you have anything else to say to the audience before we sign off? As always, we're always happy to follow up and provide more information and uh, thank you for joining us today. Okay, thank you so much everyone.